Hey folks, good morning, good morning, good to see y'all. I'm just hopping on here and sharing the post really quick. Uh, not a lot of you are on just yet. There's Betty. Hi Betty, good to see you. Uh, there we go. All right, well, usually that little minute or so is, is good enough to kind of build a bigger audience, but that's all right. There's Judy. Hi Betty and Judy, good to see you guys. Um, hope you're having a good Thursday morning. Um, we, uh, are getting ready to get around for the day. Everybody's kind of sleepy and not, not moving much this morning. There we go. Yeah, we'll, uh, Judy, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Um, and I do say we, that means all of us collectively. <laughs> so we will be in. Uh, and uh, hope you are doing well. Um, okay, let's just get right to it and start with a joke this morning. And I think this one's uh, this one's something special today. I just I, I got it. It's I, yeah. This is something special. All right, here you go. I know you're on pins and needles. You're in anticipation of what does Eric have for us today. So this is wow. Wow. Um, yeah, there's like four people. So, all right, here we go. Are you ready? Here's our joke for this morning. Did you hear that Julie Andrews will no longer endorse cheap lipstick? Now, you, you know, you all know who Julie Andrews is, right? You know, uh, Mary Poppins, um, uh, 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 Sound of Music, you know, all that. Did you hear that Julie Andrews will no longer endorse cheap lipstick? It, she said it, it crumbles easily and makes her breath smell. Now here's a quote. Are you ready? She explained, The super color fragile lipstick gives me halitosis. <laughs> Oh man, I thought that was hilarious when I read that. He oh goodness. For a good 10 oh, I was chuckling for so long. That's great. The super color fragile lipstick gives me halitosis. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um, that one needs to be shared with as many people as you can. That was that's just fantastic. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> Let's uh, let's get to our Bible study this morning, and we will uh, we will dig in. This is kind of just along the same lines as where we were on Tuesday morning. Um, our, I gotta see what the response is. Groan. Yes, I figured I figured that would be a groan from you, but you know, a groan from you is like a laugh from somebody else. So it's it's all right. Uh, Judy. Yeah, that's Judy. <laughs> so. All right. Here's a, we want to talk about, you know, I mentioned last Tuesday about uh, doing something. We can all do something. It doesn't have to be good, or it doesn't have to be big. It has to be good, of course. But it doesn't have to be big, massive, earth-shattering uh, to help someone else. But we can all do something to help someone. Um, and today we're going to talk about some of that. God's given you guys uh, unique talents and gifts and and abilities and skills and all kinds of things. Uh, but those honestly weren't for your benefit. Um, I keep learning that more and more God gives us abilities and God gives us stuff that it's, it's not really intended for us. It's intended for those around us. And so um, we're in this time now, we're in this new normal now where there's a, a, a need to stay a little bit closer to home. Um, we're starting to see things open up, but again, uh, media plays fear into that and, and numbers and blah, 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 and everything else. But there's never been a better time in today's world than to use your talents, gifts, skills, whatever, for those around you. And actually, God commands us to love our neighbor. The first one is to love God, and then the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. So... There's there in scripture, um, f meeting needs that's important, um, and loving people through your actions is important. And I want to read this is our scripture 
uh, for the day. We find it in 1 John 3, 17. If anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? How does it? I've heard a lot of... Uh, and seen a lot online of innovative ways of people that's been serving their neighbors and uh, since all this junk, since this pandemic has began. When you go to the grocery store, maybe maybe we check with our neighbors and say, hey, y'all, y'all need anything? Uh, maybe we, uh, uh, you know, especially maybe if they're older, do y'all need anything? Or maybe you can, uh, you can offer to, to mow your neighbor's lawn or, or, to wash the car. I mean, just simple things. Um, maybe you can help with kids homeschooling or taxes or, or or a number of other things. Maybe you're good at mechanics and they have a they have a car or a, or a lawnmower or a weed eater or something that just doesn't work and they can't get it going. And maybe you have a skill to help fix that. Maybe you have a gas can when somebody riding their scooter in front of your house runs out of gas. <laughs> Happened. Um, and one of the greatest things is that opens doors into your neighbors and into your neighborhood is food. Food always opens doors. Maybe you uh, bought that large pack of bananas and they're starting to turn and you're probably not going to eat them. Why don't you make some banana bread? Why don't you bake some cookies? Uh, if you're out and about, pick up an extra dozen box, uh, extra, extra box of donuts. Um, food always opens doors. Um, you know, maybe you have children. Uh, bring them, have them walk up and down. Bring the newspapers to the front door, or 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 uh, pull weeds, or or, or do something. Um, I heard of some people uh, making cards and walking up and down, uh, walking up and down their uh, street and and giving these cards to families with their with their contact information. Hey, if you need anything. Call us. We're here for you. Uh, some people made QR codes. I don't know if you know what a QR code is. It's a square that has a bunch of little uh, shapes and, and things in it, usually black lines and, and that stuff. Anyway, it, it's a unique code that if you scan it with your phone, it brings you to a, a web page or, or a, a certain, you know, maybe an email is attached to it, and it automatically opens it up. Um, but it said, you know, hey, we want you to join. We have a support group. We want you to join our group during uh during this pandemic time maybe that's a way to to invite people to your small group if you need help with creating a qr code i can help you do that that's not hard to do um maybe we create qr codes for people or or make little card invitations and, and give them to your neighbors join us online for our worship services you never know uh, there's the most important thing that we can do is to follow god's commands love the lord with all your heart soul, mind, strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. One of the greatest things you can do for your neighbor as you love your neighbor is to share Jesus with them. Share Jesus. Now, we can get in the door through food and donuts and pulling weeds and helping with a car, uh, things like that. But if we don't share Jesus with, with them once we have that relationship, we're doing them a great disservice. We have to share Jesus. We need to learn how to explain to our neighbors how they can become followers of Jesus without using all the Bible lingo. That will come later. But first, start that relationship. Talk about how uh, their past can be forgiven. Talk about uh, the love that he gives and the care and the watch that he gives. Um, you can literally use the skills that God gave you to become a bridge for them between heaven and hell. You can be that person. You introduce them to Jesus. That's the most important thing you can do. Food is good. Help is good. Care is good. Uh, that's, that's all good, and you need to do that. But the most important thing is that you can share Jesus. So I want to encourage you to find ways. Find ways. Be creative. Uh, make 
the most of every opportunity that you have. Because sometimes we don't get that many opportunities. But I would encourage you to make the most of every opportunity that you have to share Jesus. All right, guys. I hope you have a blessed day this Thursday. I hope you're encouraged by him. Uh, I hope that you ha are, are looking forward to, to regathering again this Sunday. Our third Sunday in a row. It's going to be a good day. And so I want to encourage you to be with us, join with us, uh, worship. If you still feel the need to stay at home, that's fine. We will be worshiping online. Uh, we're going to trust you all to be be a little bit... Uh, uh, we're just going to trust you to, to, to know what to do, what's right. And, and we're going to begin to relax a couple of things in our building. Um, we're still going to have uh, the, the pews separated and that social distancing stuff. But, but there are some other areas that we're going to begin to relax on. Um, so I want to encourage you uh, to come and know that it's clean, uh, know that we're doing what we can to make it a safe place for you. Uh, and then we're looking forward uh, to an opportunity to worship together, uh, to sing, uh, to pray, uh, to break open his word, uh, and to have that time of fellowship. So uh, we will see you again tonight here at 830 for our time of hope, prayer, and blessing. Uh, and then, uh, Sunday morning, 1030 AM, you don't want to miss it. All right. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors. If they're not here, invite them to watch online. Uh, how cool is that? We can invite anybody we want to be part of the church because we're there. Uh, so I encourage you to use that and, and make that available to those around you. All right, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a blessed day. And as God is blessing you, remember to be a blessing to those around you. Love y'all. See you again.